man is back. Oh, my God, die, 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 boys. Oh my gosh, the man got messed up! This is a 5 out of freaking 5. It is beat making time. Next week is E3, we might have them come comes out next week. I have to limp it. Talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. Oh, look at that, my gosh! This is your boy. Alright ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is, this is your boy Dash and Troy Fun out! <laughs> Back at it with another Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay for you guys, with a very interesting topic actually, so, let's jump straight into it, so I learned on this topic, Monday night going on to Tuesday, and basically here's what happened, basically I was watching ESPN first take, like a uh a, a, re a recording of the entire show because that's what i've been doing lately i've been recording the entire show since i normally sleep through that time because of my nightly job or whatever work from home though but anywho here's what they talked about one of the things they talked about in the second half of the show was the fact that the philadelphia flyers and the new york yankees removed the god bless america song that was sang by kate smith in the flyers remove her statue like they cover it up and then ultimately removed it now you probably wonder why did they do that why did they remove kate smith's version of god bless america i mean this is apparently this is god bless america this is one of those big time songs that is played at uh you know at a national sporting event why would they remove that well what happened was they learned that she performed racially insensitive songs 90 years ago. So, uh, back in the 1930s, she did songs like, and I'm going to butcher this title, Pick a Nanny Heaven. Okay, no, I got it right. And the, another song that she did was That's Why Darkies Were Born. So, she did those songs in the 30s. So, in Pick a Nanny Heaven, the first song describes, and I'm quoting here, a place where the good little pickanannies go, referring to African-American kids, with great big watermelons and luxurious pork chop bushes growing right outside your door rack. The second song includes lyrics like this. Someone had to pick the cotton. Someone had to pick the corn. Someone had to slave and be able to sing. That's why darkies were born. Yeah. So, because a song that she did almost a century ago, the Philadelphia Flyers and the New York Yankees will no longer play K. Smith's version of God Bless America, and the Flyers covered up the statue and ultimately removed it. Why am I talking about this? Well, because... We live in a society, first of all, like I said, society is too damn sensitive about everything. They, they Y'all really are. They really are. I ain't going to say y'all because some of y'all may not roll with society, but you get the point. In general, society is too damn sensitive. How did it end up here? And we live in an era where if you say something, doesn't matter if you mean it or not, if you say something, or if you made one little mistake and people interpret it as something else, you can be in trouble. It could cost you your job. It could cost you your livelihood. Your legacy is shot and things of that nature. Even if you said something back in the day, the repercussions are the same. Like your reputation, your legacy, your livelihood will be shot. So, should that apply in this case and should that apply in other cases? So, what I mean by other cases is this. And I don't think I talk about this. But Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart was supposed to host, I believe it's the Academy Awards. I don't care which one of these award shows it is because I don't follow these award shows, but I, I, I could care less. So this happened late last year, early this year. And was it? No, it wasn't the cat. Was it Academy's or uh, Oscar? I don't know which one. It's one of these. I have no clue which one it was, but basically, Kevin Hart was originally invited to host one of these quote-unquote prestigious award shows, whether it was the Oscars or the Academy Awards. I don't know which one. I could care less which one it is, because I don't give, again, I don't give a damn by either any of these award shows. 
I don't give a damn about any war shows, period. So, what happened there? Basically, he made some tweets. How long? I don't remember how long ago this was. This was probably, I want to say, eight to ten years ago. I don't remember the entire story. But he made some tweets in regards to gays. Basically, if memory serves me correctly, I'm trying to find exactly what he said. But if memory serves me correctly, all he said was he would rather not see his son become gay. If, if I recall what he said back then, I believe that's what he said. And again, this was like eight to ten years ago. So this wasn't what he said wasn't recent history. It was it was you know it was over five years ago. So and then sometime after that, he apologized for saying that or tweeting that. So, like I said, eight to ten years ago, he he said that he released that tweet saying he would rather not have his son become gay. And like three, four, five years after that, he apologized. And then a few years after that, somebody found that tweet and brought it up. And basically, again, the Academy Awards or the Oscars was like, we need you to apologize. Basically, they want him to apologize again for that tweet. Otherwise, he was not going to be the host. And basically, he said, fuck it. I just won't be the host because his mindset is, and this happened eight years ago. Like the tweet eight happened eight years ago. So basically this he addressed it. He apologized. Is it her? He put it behind him. It was over. So for it to come back up again, make no sense. That's his mindset. Mickey. So yeah, You're too late. that's it. And then you take something like that and compare it to the Kate Smith scenario. There's a there's a couple of differences here. Like what both of them did, like by society standards, what both of them did is like, you know, not in the good light. We're not, not placing either one in the good light. But here's the difference between the two. In the case of Kevin Hart, like I said, this like when he made that tweet, this was eight years ago. He apologized for that sometime after that. So, and when he made that tweet eight years ago, it was during an era where society was starting to, well, either starting or was in the middle of accepting gay people into society. Because remember, we live in a society where if you were gay, you were ridiculed big time. If somebody called you gay, that was an insult. Like people were scrapped because they were called gay by other people. Like it was, it was, it was that, it was that severe. Like it was that real back in the day. But now we live in a society where outside of religion, of course, being gay is acceptable. But when Kevin Hart made these tweets again, now I'm seeing 10 years ago, about eight to 10 years ago, whatever the case may be, we was in that society. So we talking like 2009 to 2011, we were in that, um, we was in a society where being gay was either starting to be acceptable or was in the middle of being acceptable, but wasn't completely there yet. So for him to make that tweet during that era, and then a few years later, after being gay was acceptable, people gave him a backlash for it. He addressed the tweet. He apologized, things of that nature. And then he moved on from that. So, so basically what I'm trying to get at is this. He made that tweet during a time where you know, people were still ridiculing gays. Like, it was it was dying down, but it wasn't dead yet. And then, he apologized. Whereas with Kate Smith, she did those songs. There was, as far as I know, there was no apology. There was no reason to be high why she did those songs. And she, di and she died. So she, she never got a chance to apologize for it. Now, when she did that song, this again, this was during the 1930s. So obviously, racism was still a thing. So you went, so you're talking about the era that was going on back then. It was in the United States, the era of racism that was going on back in those days. So 
you could look at this as well if Kevin Hart said his thing in an era where ridicule and gay was okay, then this should be okay too. No, no, no. Well, first off, like neither one is okay. Like you shouldn't ridicule anybody for anything. But racism is worse. Racism is worse. Obviously. But so even if that was the society that, you know, that was going on back then, it still don't make it right. You know, so and like I said, racism was worse because when, when, when if somebody called you gay or had or like made fun of you for being I mean, come on now. Have you ever forgot the saying sticks and stones may break your birth, uh, bones rather, but words will never hurt me? Have y'all forgot about that? A lot of y'all have. Again, today's society. <laughs> so, you can say whatever you want. You can say any type of shit you want. I won't care. I won't give a damn. I I ain't I ain't gonna care less because, you know, that's not who I am. That's not makes me things that nature. Blah blah blah. But when you're racist towards somebody, that is different. And I'm not speaking that. I'm not saying that because oh I you know I could be. A victim of racism. I'm no, I'm saying that because it is because racism can take many forms. It could be verbally, you know, as a as, you know, which is the case of somebody saying something gay or things that they like saying you gay, whatever the case, or ridiculing gays rather. Or it could be physical. Now, like now, okay, I'll take that back. If somebody ridiculing you for being gay, yeah, they could be like I'm not like they could beat you up for that, but with racism, like you don't get the same equal opportunities and, w and you can hide being gay like if you really was gay you can hide being gay and still be treated as quote-unquote normal in society like nobody would judge you any different like you can hide being gay you could be in the closet but with racism if you were black you can't hide that because that is obvious and when people see that you're black back then they're going to treat you different so that's why racism was is worse. So, but, and again, she did not apologize. There was no explanation in terms of why she did those songs. And she's dead. So, should her version, God Bless America, be removed? Yes. Should her statue be taken down? Yes. I agree entirely. Now, let me explain something real quick. If the let's 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 change both situations around, shall we? Let's say this Kate Smith, this Kate Smith person. So she did those songs, right? And then a number of years later, she came out and apologized for doing those songs. And then she explained why she did those songs. It could have been because she was blackmailed, because management told her to, because you know her producers, her uh, record label company, whoever it was that had employed. Told her to make those songs. Otherwise, it's going to cost her a job, her career. Her career was on the line, so she had to do those songs. And she apologized for doing those songs. And then she died. And then you got to factor in that this is a singer from 1930. So we're talking almost a century ago. So most of us who was born like in the 80s and the 90s and, and further, we won't know who this person is. So if all of that happened... I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I can speak for everybody when I said, you know what, I can let that slide. I don't know who that is. They apologize. So be it. And you know, they you know their career was on the line. So be it. Whatever. You know. If they you know, if they took the song off, if they removed a statue, okay, whatever. If they didn't, okay, whatever. So again, if all those situations took place, that's how I would feel. I would be like Okay, they kept a statue or whatever. I don't know who this is, so whatever. I, 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 if anything, I would have said that I don't think she's big time enough to have her own statue. That's that's the that's the only question I have about it. Whether she made those songs or not. I don't know who this is. I don't think she deserves her own statue. So I mean So it, it's because of the fact that she's not big time. Like if she was Elvis or Michael Jackson or Prince. Yeah. She deserves her own statue. But she not big time. Otherwise, I would have knew about her. I would at least know who she is. So to start off with, I don't think she deserved her own statue to begin with. W I don't care what song she did. But again, under the six circumstances that I laid down for you guys, I would have just said, you know what? Keep the statue up, whatever. That's just me. Because she apologized. 
She had a reason why she had to do those songs. And she's died. And I have no clue who she is. So I virtually don't care. So be it. Keep the statue up. Y'all can play her songs. Whatever. But that's not the case. She did the songs. She didn't apologize. She didn't give an explanation for why she did the songs. And she would never and she never will. So now I'm like, yeah. Remove her. So in the case, so if I would so let's take the Kevin Hart situation, right? Let's flip that around. So he released that tweet. Basically saying, and, and then let's talk about the tweet. He it made me subject correctly. Again, I could be wrong with this, but I'm trying to find it. He again, if I recall correctly, he said that he rather not see his son become gay. Or, and actually now I'm looking at it now. I believe he so told some jokes about gay people. So actually, yeah, here's the here's the um here's the here's the quote. Let me read this real quick. One of my biggest fears is my son growing up and being gay. That's a fear. Keep in mind, I'm not homophobic. I have nothing against gay people. Be happy. Do what you want to do. But me, being a heterosexual male, meaning straight, if I can prevent my son from being gay, I will. Now, with that, with that being said, I don't know if I handled my son's first gay moment correctly. Every kid has a gay moment, but when it happens, you got to nip in the butt. So, let's flip that around and say Kevin Hart attacked all gay people. And to this day, he did not apologize for it. Yeah, he should be ridiculed. He should be ridiculed. Because again, I don't care what your situation is, whether your situation is right, whether your situation is wrong, whether I agree with it, whether I disagree with it, whether you agree with it, whether you disagree with it, you shouldn't be ridiculing anybody. So yeah, if you're going to ridicule somebody, be prepared to be ridiculed yourself. But again, that's not what happened here. So in the case of Kevin Hart, he basically saying that he would prefer his son not to be gay and that he would try everything in his power to prevent his son from being gay and people chewed him out for that me personally i have no problem with that and he even said he have nothing against gay people do what you want it's just him and his son and what he preferred for his son there you go so but basically, the point of the topic is this. Should people be ridiculed for things that they have done back in ancient history? That's the question. And the answer to that question is, it depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. It's not a flat-out yes or no answer. It's not a flat-out black or right question. This is a serious gray uh, answer here. A gray question. because Not gay. Gray question. Because... It depends on the situation. Like if you did something that is viewed by like viewed back then that is viewed by today's standards unforgivable and you gave no apologies, you gave no fucks about it, and you just live with it. Yeah. Depending on what you did or what you said, you should be ridiculed for it. Like if you're ridiculing people, you should be ridiculed yourself. And in the case of K Smith, that's what she did with her song. In the case of Kevin Hart. That's not what he did when he made that comment. He was talking about himself and his kid. That's it. Now, let's use another example because the NBA draft, the NBA, the NFL draft is tomorrow. I, I don't know how many of you guys are going to watch that when the Avengers movie comes out tomorrow. I won't be watching the draft. I'll be watching the Avengers movie. But we've seen this happen in the past where a guy, really somebody who is eight, not 18 because they change that law 1920 to 21 whether the nba nhl nfl whatever is about to be drafted whether they draft the number one within the top 10 or whatever the case may be and some idiot in the media on the day of the draft will look through that um person's twitter and go hmm how shall i messed up this person night the same night he about to be drafted let me go on twitter and see what crazy thing he said Five, six, seven years ago, when he was just a little kid, when he was just a teenager, Aqua. and come on, bro, as a kid and as a teenager, we done and said some stupid stuff. 
Like real talk. All of us have. So. That's another situation where I'm like, you know what? He was stupid. He was naive. He didn't know any better. Why are you looking up? Why are you doing that? So the issue won't be what the kids or what this guy said on Twitter when he was a kid or a teenager. The issue would be the fact that this reporter went back through his Twitter history six, seven, eight years ago, whatever the case may be, to try and find some dirt on this guy who is about to be drafted and is about to experience the greatest moment of his life. That's going to be the issue right there. But in that scenario, I'm not going to ridicule this guy, again, this 19, 20, 21 year old who is about to be drafted into the NFL, into the NBA, into the NHL, into the MLB, or wherever the case may be. Because again, when he, if he says something, you know, if he was ridiculing somebody, yeah, I say you should be ridiculing yourself. But again, he he was just a kid. Like when he would ridicule somebody on Twitter, he was just a little kid. He was just a teenager. He was stupid. He was naive. He didn't know any better. Because that's what happens when you're born. You're born stupid. That's what happens to all of us. So, there you go with that. So, yeah, that's the case where if you're going to bring up somebody in history to try and ruin their night, their draft night, no. That's going to fly. But, basically, again, the question is, should ancient history define somebody now? And the answer is, it depends. It depends on the situation. So, again, the case of Kate Smith, yes, her statue should be removed and her version of God Bless America should be removed everywhere. And that's all I got to say. So, yeah, there you go with that. So, with that said, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, New Jack Aspie, a.k.a. the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.